In this short tutorial, I will explain you what is the multi-server site and I will show you how to set it up. Okay, so first of all, what we need to care about? We need to have the master server, which is connected in the same network as the slave servers. Then we are connecting the cameras to the slave server. In small scenario, we can also connect cameras to master server. However, if we have more than four servers, we highly recommend to have master service server only for administration. So managing all the schedule, alarms, events, uh, user rights and the privileges, logs and so on. For all the cameras, we recommend to have the slave servers. We can do this connection with up to 20 servers. So we can connect 20 servers into one cloud. While connecting all of those servers together, we need to, of course, keep in mind the limit of each server, which is 600 incoming and 600 outgoing megabits per second. Then we have the client. Client is always connecting to master server and then acquiring the streams from the source where the cameras are recorded. So we are not connecting to slave servers, but only to master server. Keep this in mind. How do we install slave server? First of all, install the same installation package on all of the servers, either master or slave. It's exactly the same package. So of course, what you need to do, you need to agree on the terms at the first. Then on the second step, we have option to choose sub server or main server. Only master server is the main server. All the others are the sub servers and then click next. After the installation finish, select the proper Ethernet card so you will connect all the time with this Ethernet card to the master server. In the next step, you will be asked what is the center IP address. So this is actually the IP address of the master server. In my case, 1.7, 1.3 was the slave server. If you forget or you change your mind later on, you can all the time change the IP address of the center server over here. We have also mapping IP domain. Uh, what does it mean? It's mapping either public IP address or domain name. So if the master server is connected to the, uh, to the network and you would like to download the data or working with the data from remote networks, you need, of course, public IP address or DDNS service. If you have public IP address, please put it over here. Once you finish that, please see that on your slave server, this service is just starting. It will never finish until you will not approve the slave server on the master server. So don't be afraid when you will see this starting for a very long time, just forget about it go to master server for the settings. So now I will show you where to do all the settings on the master server. Now we are connecting to master server. We go to settings, we go to system deployment and over here you can see one master server, main server and sub servers. So the slave servers over here, one is already connected. As I told you, the server is starting. So we need to enable this service. It will take approximately like two minutes until this server will go online. So just be patient. The slave server need to check whether everything is okay and whether the main server is admitting the slave server to enter. Then if the servers are connected as this one, what we can do over here? First of all, we go to settings. As you can see, this is set up as a sub server, no as a standby server. This will be separate topic. So I will go to this on our next tutorial video. So keep it this as a sub server. Then if we have, if we have this configuration, what we can do, we can allocate resources, which is really important, right? Why we have multiple servers. If all the devices are on one server, Whatever server we click on, you can see which devices are already allocated on it. 
we can of course change the location of those devices for example you just take the camera for example uh, this 110 or uh, 100, uh, 244 and you just drag and drop to the server where you wish to allocate this device so as you can see it's now one over here and it disappeared from mine if I click over here I see that I have this one encoder on this server we can do also auto allocation of all the devices so let's say I have a scenario where I have 300 cameras already and I would like to equally split them between three servers what I can do I can do auto allocation between all those three servers if I have a big installation and I don't want to have uh, the cameras connected to my master server of course I'll just take this off so uncheck the central server and click OK after clicking on OK the devices will be relocated among the two slave servers okay so that's it that's how you build master slave topology thank you for watching our webinar